Um, well, hello everyone, and welcome to the music, and replace it with new music. Um, happy Thursday. Let's see what this is doing. Hi everyone! We have Coach, we have Murph, we have Sally. Welcome, welcome, friends. Thanks for hanging out. Um, let me see if the music might be a little too loud. And it looks like my mic is a little soft, which I think is a little bit farther away from me. desktop down and like this volume up a little bit. Is that better? I'm staring into my right on my cheek. Right on the cheek. Um okay I think I think that's gonna be okay but let me know if it's not. Okay so we're gonna be making cake today. I added a um command in chat for the recipe if you guys are curious um, for cooking with things, I'll like always try and um, update that. Get some duct tape and heck yeah. Um, okay, so I have my setup. I have all my stuff that I need. Um, let's just get started. And I think also, since I'm streaming me making a cake, I'm gonna also stream me making lunch. And like, I can show you guys what I typically eat for like a lunch. Um, if y'all are interested, so let me do this. I'm so excited because I have like, I'm obsessed with dresses and um, I never wear them on stream because obviously like, why would I? It's not, you can't see it. But for cooking things, I can wear like all my other shit that I don't wear a lot. Okay, so I'm gonna be making a vanilla cake with like strawberry garnish and probably like strawberry jam filling. Um, so the recipe that I found is from Nora Cook. It's a cute dress. Thank you so much, Gabby. So cute. I got it at Target for like $20. What a steal. Um, oh, I need to use the oven. Okay, let's see. So I found this recipe from Nora Cook. Also, I'm gonna, um, sorry, I'm like so scattered right now. My chest, it's like very chaotic. show that too but the main event is the cake because that's what won um by a landslide and by a landslide i mean um like three votes <laughs> okay. um, water for pasta mic is a bit low okay let's see if we can fix that how do I make it go higher? Hmm. Can I put it? So the transponder thing is all the way up. Um, it's all the way up on computer. I can make the desktop. Let me see if I can get this closer to me. Please. Is that closer? Is that close? See, I do. It was like right here yesterday. Although it's like peaking very far in yesterday. So I feel like something is different. It's like really low, fam. Do I have to like shout? Um, what if I turn down the desktop audio, or is that super annoying? Now I don't even see the desktop audio thing. Um, 
no way. These guys are all the way up. Make sure the mic is the clip and not the laptop mic. I think it is, hold on. Oh, it's not. Okay, so it's not reading in my actual mic. Cool. Let me move this out of here. Um having it didn't wreck our ears yet, and then, then there's a problem. Um, let me turn it off and on again. Nobody's coming for attention, heck you. On brand. Okay, turn it on and off again. Um... Yeah, the fact that it's like still going when I turn the mic off tells me that y'all are right. Okay. No, it's not reading in the mic though. L1. No, it's the mic. My computer's been reading it as a headphone, and it's really not.
Is that working now? Is it working? But is it from the computer or is it from the mic? <laughs> I'm scared. Okay. What if I what if I go very far away? Can you still hear me? <laughs> that for the mic taps? Okay, great. <laughs> I hope that wasn't very loud. <laughs> Hi mom. Okay, so let me turn that down. Let me turn the volume a little bit down. Basically, I had to switch it to headphone mode. Don't know why. Yay, we did it, everyone. Um, I mean, mostly me, but you know. <laughs> All I'm saying is that everything works when you're in your PJs. <laughs> Heck yes. Okay. Okay, we're good now. Uh, I'm gonna turn this down a little bit on here and then turn it up on here so that I don't get the feedback from it. But if the music volume is too high, let me know. Now I don't have to shout. What a lovely day it is. Okay, what was I saying? We're making cake, fam. There's eight people in here. Thank you so much, guys, for tuning in. Okay, so let's get her done. Um... First thing, so this is a gluten-free vegan cake, which I know what you're thinking, but trust me, it might be good. I've never tried this recipe before, but I have had gluten-free um, vegan cake. Probably <laughs> not pesto and cake. Yeah, there, we're doing pesto pasta, but that's later. Um, so basically, we're using almond flour and then all-purpose baking flour that's gluten-free. The almond flour is because um, almonds are like very fatty, obviously. They're a nut. And so when you use almond flour for baking, it tends to be like really rich and creamy and like fluffy. Whereas if you use like oat flour and stuff, it still works, but it's not as like fat, so it's not as creamy. Um, so we need two cups of this. Oh, I need to like actually show what I'm doing. Love that. And this camera setup is just on my laptop. I bought a fancy camera. I was telling test stream last night. I bought a fancy camera and it like doesn't work and the Wi-Fi like signal thing that it can use um, was discontinued in March so I bought this camera and I can't use it the way that it was intended to. Um, so I'm gonna figure that out for next time probably but anyway. So two cups of almond flour and then two cups of all-purpose. You know what I should have done that I didn't do? I should have used a sift because sometimes when you use, when you like just put flour in there, there's like, there's like chunks like this that like you kind of need to break apart. But I think if we just whisk it really well, it'll probably be fine. See if you can find a used DSLR. That's a good idea. I definitely need to look at like more used stuff. Um, okay. Sift it. Yeah, I have like the strainer thing that I could use, but I don't know. I think for like gluten-free flour. Like, see, this is this is what happens when you don't sift it, but um, this is, like, pretty easily broken down with a whisk. Because um, the almond flour texture is, like, it's actually really nice. It's, like, it's a lot heavier, so I don't think it, like, clumps up as much. Sifter, I hardly know her. <laughs> Love that. Okay. So we have the almond flour and the all-purpose gluten-free flour. And now we need one and three-fourths cup of granulated sugar. Um, I think I'm gonna just use like one and a half. It's kind of a lot of sugar. One. 
Maybe just like a little bit less than a half. this in uh, I should have used a bigger bowl fam I forgot I had this one out and <laughs> it just kind of happened um, two tablespoons of baking powder that's a lot of baking powder fam This has been a problem. Mix that in. Okay. Um, now we need a teaspoon of salt. So the kind of salt that I get is like the pink Himalayan salt. Mostly because it's pink. Um, oh my gosh, you'll see a bigger bowl. <laughs> Big yikes. <laughs> um, pink Himalayan salt tends to be, like, way saltier than, like, regular salt. So if you're using pink Himalayan salt, um, you can use, like, less than it says. The pink helps the flavor? For sure it does. Okay, my water's boiling, so we're gonna shift gears a little bit. And... In. Um, she really boiling. So I'm using um, bow ties. They're brown rice, gluten free, of course. Um, let me just put these in really quick. That was my oven preheating. Maybe after I finish the cake stuff, then I'll like move y'all to the stove. So y'all can see. Okay, two cups of almond milk or soy milk. I have both, but we will use almond milk just to stay on brand. We're using almond flour. Not really. Like this, this recipe is like super simple, fam. use little chef so <laughs> for those who are not in my family <laughs> I have a little grater and me and my mom call him little chef because this is what the grater looks like <laughs> it's super cute I got it from TJ Maxx like when I was in college um, so we joke that like this is little chef's kitchen and that he's like running everything and I just follow orders um, I'm gonna mix this through before I add the apple cider vinegar. <laughs> He's a buddy. <laughs> He's a pro. So I could use a um, hand like mixer blender thing, but I it says to not over mix this, so I'm just gonna hand whisk it. Um. Okay, the, the music seems a little bit high to me. I'm just going to turn it down a tiny bit. Okay. Um, one second. I need to... Ready. 
So now we need two teaspoons of apple cider vinegar. And vanilla extract. I'm gonna add the vanilla extract in first because the apple cider vinegar reacts with the baking soda or baking powder and you don't wanna like let it sit in there for too long before just putting it straight in the oven. Um oh, what's the new one? I have a new vanilla extract and an old one apparently. Um one and a half tablespoons. Tablespoons, that's a lot, man. Okay. One tablespoon and about a half. I always eyeball it, fam. But they say you shouldn't eyeball it when you're baking, so don't do it. Or do it, I don't know. Live your best life. Combine this in. It smells so good, fam. Okay, so now we want to do the apple cider vinegar. So I was scared to shake this, but it says on here that you can shake it. So we're going to shake it because it settles and there's like a bunch of chunk at the bottom and then it's just like liquid at the top. So we're going to shake it so that the chunk is evenly chunky. Okay, so we need two teaspoons of this. So, I don't know where- okay, I swear I have a teaspoon somewhere. Fourth teaspoon. One teaspoon. I got this, um, measuring, like, set from a pushing box one time. <laughs> it was like the pushing crates that you can get every, like, couple months. Two, right? Did I say two? Yeah, 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 yeah. And taste it again. Apparently, so in the test room we were talking about this, and apparently people just take apple cider vinegar. Like, it says daily dose of wellness. Perfect taken two to three times daily. Like, that's wild. And then it says on the front, your daily dose of wellness with the mother. Okay. Love that. Um, okay, I'm just like stirring the pasta really quick before I uh, mix it up. So you're going to see it start to fizz up. Um, it's reacting with the baking powder. And this will make it fluffy um, and moist. So you don't want to over mix it in there, just, just get it in there. Not sure if it does anything. Maybe it's the placebo effect. You just think it's doing something, which we love a placebo effect. Okay, so now we need to do this bit. One second. I know I'm doing this off screen. I don't have a lot of room, but I'm just gonna like do this really quick, like. And then I'll show y'all. So here's one pan. Here's the other pan. They say apple cider vinegar can help you lose weight? Oh shit. Okay. So we are going to move these. Actually, I should just put these in the sink. Let's free up some counter space. Um, I also need to clean this out. I should really wash these, huh?
Yeah, I'll give him a rinse in a second. And we can pop these in the oven. Dishwashing stream, heck yeah, the best stream. It's fine, probably, me every other sentence. Okay. So, I was saying to test stream yesterday, I don't know if this is true, so if it's not, I'm so sorry. I read somewhere, though, that, like, so, these baking pans, like, they're the metal, I don't know what type of metal they are, but you can see they're not, like, shiny, they're, like, pretty matte, and I think it, like, I've read that it helps, like, heat everything like more evenly um but then the downside is that they're very like they stick to stuff pretty easily so i always line the bottom of everything with um parchment paper for cakes and you can do like a strip that goes around the edges but like nobody has time for that so i usually don't do that i usually just like it literally doesn't make any difference which one I trace. I don't know why I felt the need to switch them, but we gotta keep it even. Um, so trace that, and then I'm gonna cut these out. It's back in here. Something shifted and it's not fitting. Oh, here we go. Okay. Check the pasta really quick. Um, I think the pasta actually might be done, which is crazy because I'm not even ready. For the pasta to be done. But let's get it out of here. Let me try it and make sure that it's like. Oh, yeah, pasta's done. Let me pour this in here really quick. Okay. Let's cut these out. One might be one sixty fourth of an inch larger. we made. Oh, and then I need to butter it. So I butter the sides of it instead of do the parchment paper just because it's simpler. It doesn't have to be perfect. It, this cake doesn't really seem like it's going to stick that much. So I need to feed my dogs at 11.30 chat, so don't let me forget. Okay, so now we're going to pour this in. Let me get a spatula. The whisk in there. That's one. I gotta make sure they're perfectly even. To feed dogs at 11:30. Awesome. Thank you. Thank you. Okay. Okay. 
just put some water in here so it doesn't stick to the bowl. Let um, me pop these boys in the oven. And it bakes for 30 to 35 minutes. About 350. So I'm going to pop these in real quick like. And then we let those bake, fam. I'm going to put this back. Are the doggies listening to the bird channel again? They are. And it's cool. I, like, have it on the TV. And, like, not only does it play bird sounds, but it's, like, an actual video recording of, like, bird, like wild birds. Like, a camera set up in front of a, um, like, little bird feeder or whatever. So they can watch and be entertained. Okay. The question mark key on this laptop doesn't work. Nor does the correct apostrophe. Everyone's bugging me. That would bug me too. So, we need to wait for these to bake, but because I'm a pro chef fam, I actually have two cakes already <laughs> ready to frost, so we just need to make the frosting. But this is how they turn out. Um, they're super moist, super like fluffy, and they rose a lot. Um, they're also very dense. <laughs> Magic of Hollywood, heck yeah. They're also very dense, um, but I'm going to put these over here and we're going to make the icing. The icing is by the same person. Um, let's see. So I need a really big bowl for this, fam. Um, and we're going to pull out the, like, the hand mixer. Um to get it really fluffy. Okay. It's a real cooking show, heck yes. So we need one cup of earth balanced vegan butter, softened to room temperature. So I have two different types of butters. I have earth balanced butter and then I have Miyoko's butter. Both are vegan. This one's unsalted, but it doesn't say it has to be unsalted. And I do really like Earth Balance. Um, the green bowl, heck yes. So this is the butter that I'm using. I can also use this one, but um, it says to use Earth Balance, so I'm going to stick with Earth Balance. Earth Balance has never done me dirty. Neither has Miyoko's, so that's, you know, not a good point, but it's just whip her open one cup so it comes in like these like small sticks let's see so I think one stick is half a cup one cup this is one cup that's not a lot of frosting there's no way let's double it <laughs> let's double the recipe if we have, a, like, a bunch of frosting, that's fine. Um, one cup. That's not a lot, fam. So this has been room temperature. I got it yesterday, and I just left it out on the counter, so... Let's unwrap these. Executive decision. Sometimes you just gotta make so many executive decisions in one day, fam. It can be overwhelming. We make our own rules. Yeah, double the frosting, never measure anything. It's not my rules, it's Little Chef's rules. He rules the kitchen. Okay, um, so I think we just need to, like, whip this up a little bit before we add the powdered sugar. Um, where are the whisk attachments to this? I have no fucking clue. 
Oh, they're right here. So my kitchen is beautiful in this new place and like actually functioning and like so nice and the island has like a plug like right on the side which is my favorite because I like will prepare stuff on the island um, and it's like right there. Okay. So... This might be loud, fam. Just warning you. Um... So I'm just gonna like break it up a little bit. And then we're gonna add a powdered sugar. That's cane sugar. We need powdered sugar. Fun fact, powdered sugar can expire. One time I was baking in California and I made frosting with powdered sugar that I, like a bag of powdered sugar that like I had for like three years and it was disgusting. It tasted like poison and that was the day I learned that powdered sugar can expire, can expire and it like was literally the worst thing. It tasted like, not that I've tried powdered detergent, but I imagine that's what powdered detergent would be. Um... Also, three cups of powdered sugar. So that means because I doubled it, I need six cups of powdered sugar. That is so much powdered sugar. I'm a little... I should have, like, maybe looked at that before I decided to double it. Six! That's six of these, fam. One. <laughs> oh my god. You actually ate it? I tried a bite of it, and then I was like, something's wrong. <laughs> oh my god, this might be this whole bag! Three... That's only three! Four... I'm under- like, I'm underfilling it. I think it's literally just this whole bag, fam. How much does it come in? 23 servings per container. A serving size is a fourth. Fuck if I'm doing that math. <laughs> Says the math major in statistics PhD. Fuck if I'm doing that math. Okay, well, let's just see how this turns out. <laughs> I'm eating for dinner and bowl fucked over frosting. <laughs> oh my god. Uh... I need a bigger bowl, but this is the biggest I have. <gasps> it's all over everything! It got over everything, fam. It's all over my laptop. Ooh, you're making a mess. We're making a mess. Oh, it is too much. <laughs> There's too much in here! Hold on. Uh... Two to three tablespoons of non-dairy milk. Okay, because this is like... I think... Okay. <laughs> Everybody calm down. Uh, I need to just do this with a spatula. I'm making an executive decision. I think I just need to like start it with the spatula. And then we will like turn to the mixer. This is so much frosting. Why didn't I just make one batch at a time? Who decided that this was a good idea? Not me. Okay. Okay. Let's use soy milk to mix it up. Because we use almond milk for the cake. <gasps> Who put the timer for the cake? Not me, fam! <laughs> How long has it been in there? <laughs> this is slowly, like, dissolved. Into a panic stream. <laughs> Good thing we already have the other key. <laughs> okay, it says about like two to three, so four to six, so eyeball it. Looks good to me. If it looks good, then it's probably fine. Bro, is this flour? Is this sugar or flour? 
and sugar. Oh my god, oh my god. Heck yeah, that's true. I'll have enough for all four cakes. Mm. This doesn't feel right. <laughs> okay, let's switch to the hand mixer. Let's put the soy milk away before I knock it over. Frosting is very, like, not white. It's a little off white, but. Ooh, should we add food coloring to it, fam? I have food coloring. Okay, now that I've, like, mixed it a little bit and, like, gotten all the powdered sugar in there, it actually fits in the bowl. What a blessing. Too blessed to be stressed. Live, laugh, love. Should we make it pink? Okay. Let's see what food coloring I have, fam. So, since I'm vegan and some food coloring isn't vegan, I got this, like, food coloring that is vegan. <laughs> Did I mention I'm vegan? Um... It's not like traditional liquid food coloring, it's like, comes in like these packs, so this is what I have, super natural food coloring. So I guess let's use the red one, oh it like went everywhere, okay. Well, let's just do a little bit. Oh no, is it gonna stain my hand? Okay. Oh, it's like purple, fam. Why is it purple? Okay, there's a lot of like blue in this red, so we're gonna have to add a little bit of yellow. That's a lot of yellow! Whoops. Okay, it's not that bad! Maybe a little bit more red. There's a TikToker that, like, he's an artist and he will, like, try and color match something. Like, just anything. Like a, like, fabric or, like, a table. And he's, like, so good at it. And I wish I was that good at color theory. I did take an art class, though. I hope you like the taste of yellow. <laughs> okay. We stand. The edges are getting a little weird, so let's like mix that in there. It looks a little grainy, and I think it's the food coloring. So if you don't use this food coloring, then maybe it won't be as like grainy looking. Not sure where that's coming from, but I'm pretty sure it's the food coloring. Let's taste it. I should have used the unsalted butter. It's a little salty, fam. Not gonna lie. 
So I use unsalted butter next time. I thought it wouldn't really make that big of a difference, but it really does. It's very salty. <laughs> It adds character, though, you know? Whoa, it's, like, really salty. <laughs> Love that for us. I don't want to dump it, though, and, like, make a new thing, because that's, like, a big waste. We've committed, so we have to just go with it. <laughs> okay, let me put this garbage away. Um, I think we're done with this, right? Yeah, we're done with this. Can you add sugar? Will that throw it off? Um, I think it'll make it a little bit more... It'll make it, like, thicker. But maybe if I add, like, a little bit of sugar and then a little bit of, um, like, almond milk or soy milk, that would help. So let's try it. See, I'm experienced, I'm like experimenting so that y'all don't have to, you know? You can learn from my mistakes. Also, let's throw this out before it gets everywhere and makes a mess. Okay. Did we ever find out how much time is on the cake? I started a timer when I realized that, and um, it's been eight minutes. I think I realized it five, like maybe five minutes before. So we'll just add a little bit, and then a little bit of soy milk. Oh, that's a lot of soy milk. Okay, so we'll add a little bit more powdered sugar. I'll just like hand mix it with this because I can't be bothered to. Um, yeah, that's a lot of soy milk. It's like gonna be really runny now, like icing. Hold on. Fam, this doesn't look right. It's not looking like frosting. Let me get a whisk. Why does it look so grainy is the thing. This is the texture. I can't tell if it's the food coloring or like what is going on or if it's the powdered sugar that I got. It's super runny though. I need to add way more. Try it at 34.52 in the VOD. Epic. What's the uptime? <laughs> oh no. I hope you like the chunk. <laughs> 54 minutes. So we still got around like 10 minutes to go. I don't know about this frosting. I kind of want to throw it away and start over, but we can't do that because that would be a waste. Why does it look like this? Ugh. I'm bringing back the hand mixer. Let me just rinse it off really quick. It'll be fine. Nobody panic. It's just 
like really chunky fam, which like we love a good chunk, but maybe not in frosting. Okay, we've lost a soldier. Get in there, please. Why aren't you going in, Beach? Hello? There we go. Yeah, we added way too much soy milk. So basically, we've like tripled this recipe. And also tripled the mess. I think it was the soy milk fam. Look at it, it's like getting nice and fluffy now. I think we need to add way more powdered sugar though. It's like very. It's very runny, and it shouldn't be runny. It should be like light and fluffy. With stiff peaks, I think. Okay, yeah, this is way better. All we needed was powdered sugar the whole time. Okay, let me get the spatula back. Let me get the sides. Okay. I don't think you can overmix frosting. Maybe you can, don't quote me on that, but the more I mix it the better it gets, so. What do we think about this? It's still a little salty, but my favorite stream. I'm not getting any work done right now. Love that for you. Um, I'm just gonna add a little bit more powdered sugar here. It seems to get better with everything, with every like scoop of powdered sugar we add. And it still feels a little runny to me. Because it's gotta be stiff enough to not run off the cake when you like frost it, you know? It's gotta be, like, thick. Okay, one more spatula run, because we need to scrape the sides again. This is gonna be fun to clean later. Hell yeah. <laughs> Me never having baked anything. Yeah, dude, totally. <laughs> So like, when do I take the cakes out? <laughs> Y'all are throwing me these numbers and I still don't know like where we're at with that. <laughs> okay. I think this is good. Oh my god. So, it's still kind of salty, but... It's been 24 minutes? Okay. So like five more minutes about. Um... So let's put this over here for now. Oh my god. <laughs> I knew this would happen. I knew it. 
Let's put this away before I break it. Okay. I just have a little chef out here. Um. Let's frost this cake. And clean this stuff up first. Pasta's just been sitting here drying out, fam. I shouldn't have started it. For some reason, I thought the water would take forever to boil. It's because at my old place, like, the stove was, like, fucked up. And, like, you could let a pot of water be there at the highest setting, and it wouldn't, like, start boiling for, like, 50 minutes. It was actually insane. Super janky. Okay. I actually gasped. <laughs> I love that. I'm just keeping you guys on your toes. Oh my god, look at all the food coloring. Let me do one more swipe of that. Oh my god, and these counters are so easy to clean, fam. Truly blessed. Oh my gosh, there's still so much food coloring. It's because the food coloring was powder, and so it's just like... Now it's a part of the house. Okay. So I have a cake tray somewhere. But where? No, but like, for real, where is it? Um... like Wilton cake spinner thing place the cake on more exhilarating than village than the village people actually wait I don't want this yet before we do anything we need to level the cakes so whenever you bake a cake it like you have this like film on the top and then the sides are a little bit crusty and so what you do is like you level it so basically like you just kind of slice the top off of it so you can either do that with like a really big nice serrated knife or like a spatula like this or you can like get a cake leveler that's like really fancy so i have this from when i used to bake like all the time throw that on the floor um so i need to adjust the height of it also this is like very sharp fam It's so hard to adjust. Okay, so we wanted it like a seven, I think. You don't want to take too much off because then, like, you're left with no cake. Mm, that's kind of a lot though. Let's start with the edges. So, let me get a smaller knife. So basically I'm gonna like pierce it here 
And it has to be serrated because, like, you need to be able to, like, actually saw through it. Actually, the top of this is, like, kind of a nice texture. I might not actually have to level the top of it. I always do the sides, though, fam. It drives me nuts when people make cakes and they don't, like, shave the sides off. Because the sides are, like, all crusty and, like, not the best. They're a little bit, like, different texture than the inside of the cake. And for a good cake, you want the texture to be consistent, like, from the edge. Lovely. And now you have this. Cakes have been there for about 30 minutes. Okay, let's check on them. I'm gonna try a piece of this. Feed the doggies? Oh, thank you. Yes, let's do that too. Let's check on the cakes and then let's feed our babies. So, the same thing applies for like gluten free vegan cakes. Stick a toothpick in there, and if it comes out clean, then it's um, done. Where are my toothpicks? Did I put them back? Yes, I did. Okay. Got an oven mitt. Okay, I think they're done. So this is what it looks like. Perfect. And let's feed the dogs. So for people wondering, I feed my dogs, um, there's a brand called Just For Dogs that makes like literally the best dog food that money can buy. Um, I used to home make all their stuff, but it can be hard to do that because um, you need to get like the ratios just right of all of like the nutrients and protein and all of that. So um, I feed them just for dog the fish blend and they are obsessed with it and I just pop it in the microwave hi Bubba do you know that it's time to eat you want to see stream you want to say hi to the stream you want to say hi oh no the laptop's falling you say hi Hi, Bubba. Okay. Ooh, let me put this back. There we go. Your dogs eat well, then. Yes, they do. They eat very well. I'll put this up while I'm getting their food ready. Miss Molly, do you want to eat some food? so cute. Okay. Iggy food cam. I will. I'm gonna bring Molly up when she's done eating. Okay. Okay, so this is done. Being shaved off. So, for icing, or for like plating it on this, I like to put like a little bit of frosting on there so that it sticks. Um... So I'm going to put this first layer on, and then we need to peel this off as well. It's actually very hardy and like it's staying, like it's not breaking apart, which can be common with gluten-free cakes. So that's lovely. And then we need to do the same with this cake. So again, I'm just like shaving off the sides a little bit. You make sure that your knife is like completely up and down. Otherwise it's going to be like slanted on the sides. But it doesn't need to be perfect. 
and then just follow the natural edges. And so this part is the crusty part, and then you can see it like is the nice fluffy part, and that's what you want to be on the edges and exposed. I'll throw this out. So this, when it bakes, this was the top of it, this is the bottom of it, and you peel it off, it's like a very nice flat. So this is what you want, this bottom part is what you want to be on the top, but I'm actually going to wait, and we're going to fill, like put frosting on this and fill it, and then we'll put that on top. So I'm kind of just winging the filling. Let me see. Let me wash my hands first. I have strawberry jam, and I have regular strawberries. I don't know if I want to put the strawberries in the filling, or if we should just do jam in the filling. Hi, Pixel! Cake looks like it baked up nice. Yeah, it turned out so good! I'm really excited. The, the consistency and texture of it is super nice. So I have this, like, strawberry jam. Doesn't expire until 2023. Love that. Is there enough frosting to do all that? <laughs> I think we might need to make a couple more batches, fam. Oh my gosh, I can't open it. There we go. So, I don't know. Should we do like frosting and jam in the middle of it? Let me get the strawberries as well. We should wash them. We have strawberries as well. Do like you know what we could do, fam? We could cut this in half and do like one jam filling and then like frosting, then jam, then frosting. But I don't know if I want to cut this in half, because it is kind of thin. Well, it's not that thin. It's it's like an inch and a half, maybe. Let's do jam and frosting on the same layer. I think that would be nice, right? So I'm just going to like pour this on. This is going to be nice. Oh, there's a strawberry chunk. I don't want that in there. I want it to be all smooth. Like a jam sandwich. Should we put peanut butter in here as well? <laughs> Maybe not too much, because it is very sweet. We put the jam on there, and then let's bring out our pink frosting. So this is just vanilla frosting for those just joining. I dyed it pink though, it's like a very, very light pink. So we'll put that on here as well. I'm just winging this. I'm not a professional, y'all. I'm just going to put a little bit on there. And we'll cut into it and see what it looks like, but I'm not going to put it all the way to the edges because when you put the top layer on, it's going to like kind of smush it. Okay. That actually looks like kind of good. Uh... Oh, you need the sweet tops of the salty frosting, so true. Okay, so now we're gonna put the top layer on. 
Oh my gosh, this looks so bomb. This turned out so good. Like, it's a nice, like, hearty cake. Epic pink cake. <laughs> Heck yes. It's very thick. This is a really nice cake recipe. If y'all are interested, it's from Nora Cooks. Um, if you do exclamation point recipe in chat, it'll show the recipe. I'll put this in the fridge. Okay. So now we frost it. And then we'll cut up strawberries to garnish it. So... Really start on the top, start from the middle, and kind of work your way out. <laughs> I have an Animal Crossing playlist <laughs> playing. I just heard the animal leaves. Hold on. Let me like switch it up to Pokemon. I love that. Did we take the other cakes out? We did. Let me do this. Lovely. So just kind of work that. I don't want to press too hard because you don't want like the cakes to like break or fall apart or anything. The spinny plate definitely seems helpful, yes. Very helpful. So I don't want to get this like perfectly smooth. I want it to be kind of like look rustic. I, there's a um, cooking channel called Hot for Food with Lauren, Lauren Toyota, and anytime she cooks anything, she's like, I want it to look like rustic and like really like natural, and so anytime I cook, I'm like, I want it to look rustic. She's my favorite. Yeah, so the reason you want it to be thick is because you don't want it to like just run off the sides. You want it to actually like stick, which I think as far as frostings go, this is a little bit on the runnier side. I did add a lot of milk to it, um, soy milk, but I don't think it's going to be that bad. So I'm just doing this gently. never want to go stingy if you try and like if you try and spread it too thin then you risk um, kind of scraping the actual cake you don't want to do that and if you want you can do like a thinner layer of frosting and then put it in the freezer and then that's called a crumb coat and then you can bring it back out and then put like a thicker layer of frosting but I think for what we're doing I don't really feel the need to do a crumb coat because um, I kind of want it to look like a little messy and like rustic like I like seeing like the swirls of the frosting and like at least just for what I'm doing right now. So cute! And cover any spots up that like you can see the middle of, of the cake from. There's a little spot in the front. Let me just get that. Molly's <laughs> back in her bed. Ziggy, do you want to say hi again, Bubba? So, let's see. One of those natural cakes you see in the wild, heck yeah. Come here, Bubba. Do you want to say hi to chat? Let me see if I can get him to come back up. Come here, Ziggy. Come here. Are you being shy? 
Can I say hi? <laughs> He's like running around the island. Do you want to say hi again? And you want to go lay with your sister? Okay. We'll leave him be. So let's wash some str- Look how much frosting we have left, fam. It's like still full. Hi, can I pick you up? No? Okay. Let's wash some strawberries. Frosting's making me want mousse, heck yeah. Let's get a little... Ponder, pick some strawberries. I think the jam filling is gonna be really nice, fam. So I wanna save like a couple just like to keep hole on the top. So like this, this, this. And then we can do like cut up ones on the sides. Good thing you doubled it, yeah, for the other cake. Totally forgot to tweet about this, but I'm so excited, fam, for WarioWare, for Switch. I know this isn't cooking related, but <laughs> if you're new here, I usually do, like, video game streams. Um, I've been wanting a new WarioWare for my whole life. WarioWare is, like, my favorite. I played the one on the GameCube and then the DS, like, it was going out of style. And I'm so glad they're bringing it back. It's been literal years too long. Okay, I'm just like drying these off on the side. Um. Maybe for the other cake, we could just do the filling and then just like leave it kind of exposed, you know? I'm like not frost all of it. Okay. Oh, we lost a strawberry. Let me just rinse it off. Let's get a little knife. Okay. So I'm gonna do like let me cut on the stream. Let me get a cutting board. So the type of cutting board you use actually matters. Um, you, oh, actually my MacBook is dying. Let me grab a charger for that really quick. Um, one second. I'm using a MacBook just to look at chat and the recipe. Um, I'm not streaming from my MacBook. Um, so you want to use wood chopping board. This is what I've heard. I'm not an expert. You want to use wood chopping boards for like fruit and vegetables. Um, and then for things like tofu and things that you like, or like if you have like marinated anything, you want to use a plastic one because the wood actually soaks up the moisture. I'm just thinly slicing these. Do this one. It's turning out pretty cool. I'm very excited. So I think I'll just like line the sides of it whoops
This is a nice summer cake. Love that. Sick presentation. Thank you. Oops, we have two in that one. Go. Summer starts in four days. Oh, it's technically spring. What the fuck? I'm gonna do like one more. gosh cool and then we can like layer that one so they're all like heck yeah and maybe in the middle we can do like just like one strawberry like in the middle like that maybe we should do a, a smaller one so it's cuter like that. And then if you want to like clean up the edges of this, you can get like a damp paper towel and like just kind of wipe the oops, wipe the sides of it. Like this. And then maybe we can do, like, ones at the border, you know? Like, on the bottom. Bro, I'm so happy with how this is turning out. It's, like, not the best thing ever, but, like, it's our thing. We made it together as a team. And we're gonna cut into it, fam, and I'm gonna try a slice for y'all. The sliced strawberries on the top make it look so pretty. Thank you, Pixel! Heck yeah. And it's all gluten-free and vegan, fam. Who says you can't have good food while being healthy and loving animals and loving the planet? We love that for us. It looks awesome. Thank you, Mom. Okay. So, I'm gonna, like, do this at the bottom. I also bought sprinkles, but I don't think we need sprinkles now, since we're like kind of garnishing with the strawberries. And we've had so many people on the stream. If you're new here, thank you so much for checking out the channel. I hope you come back. I usually do video game streams with my friend Daniel. But I've been wanting to do cooking streams. Um, and so I'll probably do a lot more of these on like Thursdays or during the week. Uh, we need a little bit smaller one to fit in here. Cool! What do we think about this? The sliced strawberries look like little arches on the bottom. Cool effect. Heck yeah. She's one of the top Smoky Doo players for anyone new here. <laughs> that is a very generous statement. <laughs> okay. I'll save these, like, sliced strawberries. I'll put them on, like, oatmeal or something. 
Okay, let's do the final reveal. I'm gonna take some pictures for Twitter and Instagram, and then we're gonna cut into this beach. I think I can stop the timer now. Um, hell yeah. I'm just taking pictures with it with my phone. I'll get chat in the background. Cool. Lovely. What do we think, fam? This is the final product. Love that. So we did a vanilla cake with an almond uh, flour base, vegan and gluten-free, two tiers. The middle uh, tier has frosting and jam in it. Um, strawberry jam. And we garnished it with some um, strawberries. I can't wait for us all to get our slices, I can't. <laughs> We love it! I'm so excited. This turned out so cool. Let's cut into it. Should we cut into it, fam, and have a slice? Oh. Let me get a plate. Let's cut into it. I need a big knife. A big knife. I'm so excited for this. Okay. I want to do this nicely. I'll do it this way. Kind of messed up the border. Hold on, let me put it back. It's got to be cute. I think Mamie's looks very vegan and rustic. Heck yes. Love that. I need to get one of those pie server things. Okay. <gasps> this is what it looks like inside. Look at that thick boy. <laughs> we love a thick boy. Hell yeah. Okay, let me take a picture of the inside. And then the slice. So it looks like on the inside. Heck yeah, should I try some fan? I need like a glass of milk or something. Put the camera up. Let's try some. Heck yeah. <laughs> Ziggy, do you want to try some too? Okay. Oh, hi, Bubba. Do you want a treat? It's really good, fam. The jam in the middle is like subtle. But it's there. It tastes really good. You can't even tell that the frosting is really salty because the cake is sweet and the jam is sweet. Hold on, fam. I'm gonna give Ziggy a treat. Usually when I eat, Ziggy thinks that he's eating as well. So I always give him and Molly a little treat. Moo Moo, do you want a treat, baby? It is so good. The vanilla cake, like, is really fluffy, and it's, like, thick, and I will say the frosting, like, needs to be improved. I think I should have used the other butter. I said that Earth Balance never does me dirty, but it definitely did me dirty this time, um, so maybe we can use the Miyoko's next time, but otherwise, like, 10 out of 10. This cake is like really good. Like I don't think you'd be able to tell that's gluten free at all or vegan. Um, wow, it's really good. I 
and the fresh strawberries on top. And really add to it. How long does it take the cakes to fully cool? It depends. You can kind of like cheat and put it in the fridge, but if you put it in the fridge, you want to make sure to like saran wrap it like really nicely because um, it can dry out the cakes. Um, but I'd say for this one, it says about an hour to cool down fully. Um, but I'd give it a little bit more time. I let these cool overnight. Um, actually, we can like feel. Yeah, so we took these cakes out like 20 minutes ago, and they're still like pretty hot. So, yeah, I'd say about an hour, but like maybe overnight if you want to play it safe. Wow, this was really good. And I have a whole nother cake. <laughs> Lovely. Well, thank you guys for joining me. I know I said I was going to try and cook lunch, but I think I need to take a little bit of a break. Um, and then I'll just do that off camera. Um, so I think this is where we're going to end. But thank you guys so much for hanging out. We did it. First cooking stream, I think, was a success. We had some drama with the frosting, but otherwise, it was such a joy. This was so fun for me, y'all. Um... I don't know if I can do one every Thursday, but like I'm definitely open to, open to like adding it and being um, having it be like a regularly scheduled thing. Um. So hi, Bubba. This is my boy Ziggy. I don't want to be held. Okay. Okay. But definitely a win. Heck yeah. Well, I think I think we're gonna end it here. But if you're new here, thank you so much for checking out this stream. I usually do video game streams on the weekend with my friend, and then some solo streams as well. Um, I'm new to cooking and streaming it, but um, I definitely like to cook on my free time, so I'm gonna try and stream it a lot more. But thank you guys so much for hanging out. I really appreciate it. We'll be back tomorrow, I think, is a solo stream, and then we might do banter on Saturday and Sunday, but Daniel's moving. Um, so we might have to delay that for a week, but I'll be doing solo streams all this weekend. Um, thank you guys so much for hanging out. I really appreciate it. Um, I post all the VODs to my YouTube channel. If you want to check that out, it's Tofu Melody on YouTube. Um, and then we also have a Discord, and I have an Instagram if you want to check those out. The links are all below. Um, and if you want to be notified of when I go live next, you can follow me here and turn on notifications. Or you can follow me on Twitter. The link is down below. I post when I'm going live and updates to my schedule. But thank you guys again. Loved having y'all here in my kitchen. And hopefully I'll catch you next time. Bye, everyone.